everyone and welcome back to Book Talking where I help you find your next read. My name is Lauren and this week I've got five books for new readers. So whether your child is beginning to read short sentences or they're ready for a longer book with chapters, these picks are for you. Up this week we have In the Forest by Alexa Andrews illustrated by Candace Keemig. Young readers can find out what lives, grows, and what objects are simply in the forest with this non-fiction book. It's a combination of illustrations and photographs, which I really like. And because it's non-fiction, you'll have many opportunities to discuss with your child what kinds of things in the book you've seen outdoors. There are also repeated words and symbol vocabulary, so if your young reader is able to sound out the beginning and ending letters of words, and if they enjoy stories about animals like Tug the Pup by Julie Wood, they can check out In the Forest. Next up we have Ducks in a Row by Laurie Haskins Horan, illustrated by Joe Mathieu. So Max is a duck and he loves to relax but he also notices that everyone else in his house has something to do except him. And while it's nice to kick back, he also feels like it's nice to be needed and to be helpful. So when his three ants arrive, he is ecstatic because he can once again be useful. He can help them with just about everything. In fact, his ants ask a lot of him. Will Max ever be able to relax again? This story is not to be missed if your child is already a fan of Maxwell the Duck Stories by Jackie Urbanovich, like Duck Soup. This is a great choice for children eager to begin reading on their own. There are short sentences, some dialogue, and simple concepts that are easy to follow. This is Ducks in a Row. And our third book this week is Mariella, Queen of the Skies by Owen Colfer, illustrated by Katie Halford. So Mariella is nine years old and she is a great inventor. She creates lots of things in her lab, but she's always getting interrupted by her parents who are informing her that it's once again bedtime. Putting her inventing skills into overdrive, Mariella comes up with something that can solve the problem of bedtime. This is a fun and imaginative story that's a great choice for young readers looking for their first chapter book. There are bright illustrations, a smart and creative main character, as well as facts at the beginning of this book about other women in history who have made inventions of their own. For young readers who are fans of the Questioneers picture book series like Rosie Revere and Janeer, check out Mariella, Queen of the Skies. Next up, we have Benny McGee and the Shark, The Shark Report by Derek Anderson. So Benny is learning all about sea creatures in school, and this has made him kind of fearful. So he's at the beach one day with his family and he does not want to go in the water. He will not swim at all. And when his family's ready to pack up and head home for the day, Benny notices that he's being followed. Ooh. He does everything he can to avoid what's following him, but there's no use. He can't avoid it. He's being followed by a great white shark. Benny eventually faces his fears. He ends up inviting the shark in and becoming friends with him. He even names him Mr. Chompers for his big teeth. This is a silly tale about facing your fears, perfect for young readers who are ready to transition to their first chapter book. There are blue-gray illustrations to help readers follow the story, and this would be a great choice for emerging readers who like stories about sharks and facing life's obstacles head-on, like Clark the Shark, Tooth Trouble. This is The Shark Report. And our last book this week is Wicked Nix by Canadian author Lena Coakley, illustrated by Jamie Zollers. Nix is a fairy. In fact, he's proudly the foulest of the fairies, and he has been charged with watching over the forest while the good queen is away. People are not allowed in the forest, only fairies. So Nix is shocked and upset when he sees a man people in an abandoned cottage in the forest, and he comes up with clever and mischievous ways to drive him out but his tactics don't seem to be working. Hmm. 
This is a fantastic fantasy story, similar to a fairy or folk tale. There's magic as well as an unexpected twist. For young readers who are comfortable reading on their own and looking for a more elaborate story, but something not too long, this would be the perfect choice. And this would also be enjoyable for fans of stories about fairies and magic, like Beyond the Spiderwick Chronicles series by Tony Di Terlizzi. This is Wicked Nyx. Thank you so much for joining me this week. You can check out all of these great stories and much more at Aurora Public Library. Happy reading!